Want to go squirrel watching with me today? Did you just say squirrel watching? I recently started squirrel watching at my local park. It's so much fun. Chris, I would keep that to myself. It's nothing to brag about. And besides, I'm busy today. I'm setting up for my cousin's party. Wait, party? Does that mean that Takeru's coming? Unfortunately, no. He's not coming this time. I can't wait to see you again. Anyway, it's not a big deal. Because today, we're having birria. Ooh, yes! I love birria! You don't know what birria is, do you? No, I don't. Thought so. Come here. I'm about to change your life. I present to you, birria. Wow, that looks and smells incredible. Birria is a meat stew that's made with a blend of spices and chiles. It's traditionally made from goat, but can also be made with beef or lamb. Birria was originally created in the Mexican state of Jalisco. It's typically eaten at celebratory occasions like weddings, baptisms, holidays, or even birthday parties like this one. Good thing I came today. So how do you eat it? Let me whip you up a plate. First, you add a large serving of birria, add some cilantro, onion, squeeze some lime juice, and boom, you're ready. If you look up the word love in the dictionary, you'll see a picture of birria. It's just the most tender, juiciest, most loving meat there is. Every time I eat it, it makes the pain go away. Yeah, 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 yeah. that sounds great and all, but can I try it? Uh, you're just talking a little bit too much. Sorry, I'm just very passionate about birria. Here, I hope you like it. Mmm, it's so delicious. I've never had anything like this. It's one of my favorite dishes ever. I mean, by looking at you, it looks like every dish is your favorite dish. <laughs> hey, I wasn't done. You don't talk like that to the guy that's feeding you? Oh, yeah, sorry. Anyway, I still wasn't done showing you everything. What do you mean? You can also eat birria in a taco. A taco? Yup, they're called quesabirria tacos. They're pretty much a quesadilla, filled with birria. Wow, my body's ready. I need those right now. They look so good. And the best part is, you get to dunk them in consomme. Consomme is the juices from the meat stock. It's where all the flavor is. The seasoning, spices, mixed with the juices from the meat stock, make up this perfect concoction of flavor. So, why are the tacos red? Oh, because when you're making these tacos, you dip the tortilla in consomme and then you fry it to make it nice and crispy. So let me get this straight. You cook the meat in consomme, you fry the tortilla in consomme, and you dip all that in consomme? That's a lot of consomme. Yeah, it is. But that's what makes it an experience like none other. I was excited to try the birria plate, but I think I'm more excited to try this now. As you should be. Oh, you look so beautiful. Wait, wait, wait. You forgot to dip it in the consomme. Yep. It's confirmed. Why are you crying? Because it's delicious. It might be my favorite dish. I told you it was good. This is the most amazing thing. I've had in my life, it's just like, I just, I don't have any words to describe this besides beautiful, God said and delicious. <laughs> so delicious. <laughs> What is up, Gorilla Gang? Hope you enjoyed that episode of Mexican Survival Guide. If you liked it, make sure you give it a big like because it helps us a lot. And let us know in the comments down below if you have ever had birria. Or just comment down below something because we read every single one of you guys' comments. And uh, with that being said, click right here to check out Behind the Scenes. Click right here to check out last week's video. Click right here if you aren't subscribed yet. And with all that being said, we'll see you guys next time. Hey, if you guys are still watching right now, comment down below. Birria.